Here's how to tighten the chain on a beach cruiser if your chain's getting loose. So on the non-chain side of the bike, there's this bar that's connected to the frame, which is used for your brakes if you have a coaster brake. So if you have this bar, you need to just loosen it up a little bit. There's a screw on this side, and then on the back side, there'll be a nut that you have to get with pliers. We're not taking it off, we're just loosening it up. Making that a little loose will allow it to slide forwards and back when we adjust the wheel. The bike frame has a channel in it that the wheel can slide backwards and forwards in, so you just loosen up the nuts on both sides of the wheel to allow it to slide forwards or backwards. In this case, we'd slide it backwards to tighten up the chain. So once we've loosened it up on the chain side, you can move the wheel forwards to make it super loose or pull it back to make it super tight. Now what you want to do is you don't want it to be so tight it doesn't move. You want it to have a little bit of play, like maybe this much play, so that it's kind of hanging, but it's still tight enough where it won't jump off the sprockets. If you have it too tight, it'll wear out your chain really fast. You might have to make a couple of attempts. So I'll tighten this bolt semi-tight while there's a little bit of play. Now, while you do this, you'll notice that you can get your wheel crooked so that your bike is going sideways and the wheel's rubbing against the frame if you don't do this right. So after you've tightened up one end and gotten the chain where you want it on the chain side, you want to just move the wheel back and forth and make sure there's an equal distance between the wheel and the frame on both sides of the wheel so that there's clearance and then tighten up that nut with your wrench. So now that you believe the wheel and the chain are in the right position, you just make sure that you've torqued them down enough with your wrench and then do a chain check. See that there's, there's a little bit of play in the chain. So what you want to do though is turn the wheel a little bit and then check for play again. And you can see there's a lot of play here. So this is the tricky part. So a chain is going to wear unevenly on the sprocket as well. So in some places the chain is going to be kind of loose, but then in other places it's going to be kind of tight. So you have to kind of walk the line between loose and tight and make sure there's always a little bit of slack in the chain when you try it in different, different angles. You can see I've got a really crooked sprocket here. So that's probably the best I can do with this bike. You just need to tighten up your coaster brake holder against the frame and then you're done. Go riding.